Hi all, this video I am going to explain about the features behind the light wave. So light is a beautiful form of energy around us. Just like heat, sound, light is also a form of energy. So what is that more interesting about light if you want to see? Light has some peculiar features. It has a transverse wave nature. Transverse wave nature is already explained in my previous video ultrasonic sound wave. Now I will just skip on to the next feature of the light. Light can travel in straight lines. We call this as the rectilinear propagation of light. That is nothing but when you keep two cardboards and a pinhole in the same distance, equal distance to each other in the same plane and you have a candle at one place, you can see the light traveling and you can see the image of the candle at the other side of the pinhole. We say from here light travels in a straight line. So like this there are many experiments to demonstrate the features of light. So it will all be very interesting. This feature of light it plays a very important role in many of its properties like reflection, refraction where you draw the ray diagrams. Light has a dual nature we say. This is the most important feature of light which I wanted to share to all the viewers. Light has a dual nature. One is light can be treated as a wave and light is treated as a particle. Where light is treated as a wave if you ask then reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction. Diffraction is one, the, we call it as a bending property of light. So any obstacle you wanted to keep in the path of the light, light travels around the obstacle and travel. Bending property of light is called diffraction. Say you have a tube light in your room, go take a cardboard, go and see that you block the entire tube light. Still in the cardboard edges around the two corners you can see the light traveling. You can see some light waves coming out. So this is the, the light is not blocked by any obstacle. Whatever obstacle you keep in the path of the light, still light has a tendency to bend around and travel and come off. So this bending property is called diffraction. Interference. The general meaning of interference we all know. It is nothing but mixing up of two light waves. Two light waves can mix only when there is a phase difference. We say a phase difference, a path difference, which will which can be viewed in detail in my next videos. When there is a path difference, there is always interference between the light waves. So it is so beautiful that the two light rays coming from the same sources or different sources suffering the path difference can always mix up with each other or interfere. Light is treated as a wave. Then polarization, that is another concept actually. So we always say a polarization is nothing but when you take a nickel prism separated by a Canada balsam layer, when an ordinary light ray is splitting into an extraordinary ray and an ordinary ray, that is again called the polarization of light. This is another property of light. So likewise, light is been rendering into different, you know, different kind of features because of its wave nature. And where you might ask me next, then where light is treated as a particle? Light is treated as a particle in Compton effect, in photoelectric effect, we say mainly light is treated as a particle. Photoelectric effect, we all know, Einstein's photoelectric effect, which, which was a Nobel Prize topic. When the photons strike against a metal surface, electrons are emitted. So when a photon can strike against a particle, striking is different from light falling on an object. Striking is, it has to have a very high strength where light is just going and falling or you know it is going and hitting with a very high force on a surface. That is actually we call it as a striking. So this striking we need to like completely imagine. So when photons are striking a metal surface, electrons are emitted. When light is going to be a wave, it cannot go and strike against a metal surface. Only if it is like a stone or a rock, you can go and hit against the wall. Like that light will go and get hit against the metal surface and electrons are emitted, which is called the photoelectric effect. Compton effect. Compton effect is nothing but when an instant photon, when a normal light, okay, light ray, namely we call it as photons, energy packets, they fall on an electron at rest. The photon gets, you know, it is getting scattered in one direction and the electrons recoil in the opposite direction. So here also, this is also a Nobel Prize topic. It was uh, discovered by Arthur H. Compton, which can be discussed in detail in my future videos. So here also light is treated as a particle. So we say light is having a dual nature, a particle nature and a wave nature. 
so this is the this is all again again i'll tell you one more thing is that light is a electromagnetic wave we say so that electromagnetic so what is that so normal light ray electric and magnetic fields it has a electromagnetic form actually so there there are again so many things to discuss and uh, we all know the visible range electromagnetic spectra all of us are aware of so you know the infrared region visible region ultraviolet region so the ultraviolet region is ranging from the wavelengths less than 4000 angstrom 4000 to 6000 angstrom is the visible light region and light radiations having wavelengths greater than 6000 angstrom is nothing but infrared regions so this is the normal electromagnetic spectra and now next comes if these are all the important properties of light then what is the laser so what 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 actually we call it as a laser laser technically we know it is a light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation but in what way a laser is different from a light ray that we should understand i would i would always say light and laser are majorly different light is like a crowd but laser is like an army army you can see group of people who are all well organized well disciplined and they behave in a uniform manner at all aspects but whereas when you say the light light is like a crowd so each each people in the crowd will be having different characteristics exhibiting different nature there is nothing like uniform among them so it is like you know uh, when a, when a crowd is going to behave in a very non uniform banner each one will be like shouting and we have seen the march fast of an army how 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 beautiful it is how unison nature they used to do the march fast so army people are always like organized and disciplined laser light is like that whereas light is like an army so this laser light comprises of small small light rays which are going to have which very coherent they are also like unison with each other they travel in the same direction as the other wavelengths are traveling and they have their amplitude to be the highest and highly intense these are all the characteristics of a laser light when there is a car being trapped inside a mud and a team of people wanted to bring the car to the land okay when it is when one of the wheels get trapped under the mud so what happens you have two three people working in uniform manner if there is going to be a crowd and each one behave differently the output cannot be reached if there is a group of people who can work on each one's instructions and uniformly they try to lift the car from the mud lift the wheel from the mud then they achieve the output that's how a laser is laser is a normal light which is being amplified by a process called stimulated emission of radiation and they are going to be highly highly intense so my next forthcoming videos will deal on each one of the characteristics of light and laser in detail thank you thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and please give your likes and comments and, and i'm waiting for your feedback thank you